16, 17, and 18 say to use the dot product to find perpendicular vectors. And if the vectors are perpendicular, the dot product always equals zero. So basically, I'm setting up an equation where I'm finding my dot product and putting it equal to zero and then solving it for my missing variable. So again, to do the dot product, I'm going to take the negative 2 times the 6 plus the 3 times the k. If it's going to be perpendicular, that has to equal 0. <clears throat> so I would get negative 12 plus 3k equals 0. I'm going to add my 12. So 3k equals 12 and divide by 3. k would have to be 4. So in order for those vectors to be perpendicular to each other, one is at negative 2, 3, the other one is at 6, 4. So again, I have the vector 1, negative 3, and negative 9, k. I want them to be perpendicular, so their dot products must equal 0. So, 1 times negative 9 plus negative 3 times k has to equal 0. So, negative 9 minus 3k equals 0. I'm going to add my 9, so negative 3k equals positive 9. Divide by my negative 3, k would have to be negative 3. So, if I have the vector 1, negative 3, I'd have to also have the vector negative 9, negative 3 in order for them to be perpendicular. And the last one, same thing. I have the vector 1, 8 and negative 9, k. I want them to be perpendicular, so their dot product has to equal 0. So 1 times negative 9 plus 8 times k equals 0. Negative 9 plus 8 k equals 0. I have to add my 9. So 8k equals 9, divide by my 8, so k would be 9 eighths. Got a fraction on that one. So simply using our dot product, if they are perpendicular, it should be equal to 0, solving it for my missing variable.